In today's tutorial, I will show you how to create a fork of a GitHub repo using the GitHub API. This is what the final result will look like when using Postman, which is a free API client that you can download so that you can easily follow along. Once we have everything set up, I can hit send. Looking at the result, we should now get back a HTTP status code of 202, letting us know that everything worked correctly. Switching back to my GitHub repos, if I refresh the page, we can now see the fork GitHub repo that I just made using the GitHub API. Just before we get started, I will have a link in the description and in the comments where you can download the exact API call that I'm about to create so that you don't have to manually recreate it yourself. To get started, log into your GitHub account. And once you're logged in, in the top right, click on your profile icon, then click settings. Scroll down until you see developer settings and click this. Click personal access token, then fine grain tokens. Generate new token. Name the token whatever you want. Expiration, just select the number of days you want this token to expire in. Select all repositories, then scroll down and click on repository permissions. In the administration section, click access, then click read and write. Scroll all the way to the bottom and click generate token. Make sure you copy this token now as you would not be able to access it later once you leave the page. Going back to the documentation, on the right hand side, just click this copy button so that we can copy the curl command here and import it into Postman. Switching to Postman, click file, import, and just paste the curl that we just copied. Click authorization, change this to bearer token, and then paste in the API key that we just generated. Click headers, uncheck this box that says authorization, Click the body tab, copy the value that you see here, click raw, paste in the value, and change this to JSON. Click the button here to make the format easier to read. Delete the line here for organization as we will not need it. For the value of name, it can be whatever you would like. This will be the new repo name for the forked repo. So for this specific example, I'll just name mine forked repo. Looking at the URL for the owner value, just replace it with the GitHub profile that you're trying to fork from. So in this case, I'm forking from this repo and the owner of this repo is this username here. So I would just type that in for the owner value. For the repo value, just type in the name of the repo. In this example, it will just be React Example App. So I'll just paste in the value here. And those are all the changes that we need to make. We can now hit send. And if we look at the result, we should now see a 202 response code. Going back to my list of GitHub repos, if I refresh the page, I can now see the forked repo that I just created through the GitHub API call. That's the end of this tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.